Ready, go. Ready, go. So in the setup position, your right arm mm -hmm. is really straight. So this is actually causing trouble for you. Oh, really? It's okay. too rigid here. Okay. Okay. Uh, before that, let's see. Try to put your arms uh, horizontally. Okay. So in your case, I don't see any uh, scoliosis in the uh, spine. That's okay. That's good. That's good. But generally, when you have really straight arm here, lead arm, and then the lead shoulder should be really high, with that oftentimes uh, uh, youngsters develop uh, scoliosis oh, really? in the spine. Yeah. So you have to be uh, careful. Yeah, if, if you see your right arm here. Mm -hmm. And then part of the reason why you're having this is if we look at the down the line view here. See the way you're holding the club is almost uh, all uh, straight. Yes. So what happens is, um, I will just uh, pretend this uh, right-handed here. Okay. okay. You're holding it like this. Now this is really a stiff and straight. You're reaching out like, and then your right hand is also fairly loose here. You're holding it like this. Instead, what I want you to do is um, try to lift this a little bit. Okay. So uh, keep, keep it above the ground here. Okay? So you have to have a little bit of lifting force here. Then what happens is you have this angle here. Then the, hand, the difference in the hand position reduces here because of this angle here then you don't have to keep this really high like this. Okay. Currently, this is uh, holding the club like this, and you're reaching out. And then when this arm is really straight, then you're in this position here. But try to bring the hands a bit closer and keep this angle here, and then have a little bit of lifting. OK, and w uh, with that, I should bend over? You can too. bend a little bit more, okay. yeah. And then so as you swing, instead of trying to go straight like this, you should be able to swing like this. Yeah, so your, your right arm, your lead arm is uh, basically uh, um, dictating the whole thing here. So now let's go to the frontal view here. Yeah, all the way you are keeping the lead arm really straight. Mm -hmm. And then at this position here, near the impact, what happens is, because the lead arm is too straight here, it blocks the, the motion. So your clip, had, clip has to go like this, because you don't let it go. Too closed? It's, a, it's straight, and it's, it basically you have a block here. And then just the, the club goes this way. Okay. Yeah, all the way, almost, uh, almost up to this position, your lead arm stays straight, even up to this point here. You have to let it go. Okay. So this is probably something you have to uh, change more than anything. So again, and also, as you start the back swing, what happens is um, you're not shifting at all, shifting away at all, okay? And uh, it's hard to <laughs> do this uh, with the left hand there, but um, <laughs> so if I just uh, um, try to do it uh, the right hand, right hand version, you don't really shift away, but just uh, try to drop this side okay. down. You're going to this position here with the lead arm really straight. Okay. Okay. So um, you have to move your pelvis reasonably, laterally, and then with that you, have, you should be able to use the legs. Okay. But when you just stand there, then uh, the way uh, you use the leg, your leg is very limited here. 
Yeah, we are pretty much just standing there. So, beginning of the back swing, you are not shifting at all. So, I need to, you're saying I need to bend this. You need to shift it that way because you're the left, left hander. Yes, initially shift it that way and then come back here. So, no, no, not, not this, but shift away and then come back here. Oh. It's called the recentering. Mm -hmm. So, during the back swing, you have to shift away and then recenter. That's something you have to practice. Okay. But, uh, but uh, your grip and the way you're holding the club will dictate a lot of things. So, uh, the down the line view. Yeah, it's a, because you're not using the lower body much, it's an all upper body driven swing. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we'll uh, awaken the lower body okay. the, so, you, so that you can use the legs better. And also you don't need to keep the lead, lead arm that straight. Okay. Yeah, it just, uh, yeah, it makes the, the, the swing motion uh, kind of awkward. Okay. So first, let's uh, again practice the grip here. Hold it. And currently, you're just uh, going all the way down here, right? Mm -hmm. But try to have the, the image of slightly lifting this up here. Yeah. Okay. So it's about here. So don't let it go down. Try to lift it a little bit. Then you see uh, your, your wrist is lifting this. Mm -hmm. Then you cannot go <laughs> like this. Yeah. yeah. When you have the intention of uh, lifting the head a little bit, then uh, you know you'll be easy on uh, your lead arm here. Okay. And also, because of your strong grip, your hand is turned quite a bit here. That's why the arm becomes uh, straight strong. here. Turn this back to more um, neutral grip a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and then simply lift it up. Yeah, like that. It's a lot easier, yeah. okay, on your arm and the... Uh, so, and then as you, in the downswing, as you swing, and then let it go like this. Okay. But if uh, your hand is in this position, strong grip here, it's hard to do that. Just you have to uh, let it go this way. Mm -hmm. But if you have a more neutral grip here, swing and you can go this way. Okay. Yeah, so you, so you can ease easy on your lead arm, right? Okay. So make sure you have a little bit of angle and then try to lift the clip head a little bit, always. And then, so your little finger here is not overlapped here. Yeah, sometimes I like to, I switch. Or the other way. Yeah, so keep the hands a bit closer. Part of the reason why you're doing this is because your hand, the, the two hands are located like this, mm -hmm. and then you have the strong grip here, so you have to reach out like this, and then the right shoulder is quite high. Yeah, but when you keep the hands a bit closer, and then lift the clever slightly, this is a lot easier to use the wrist. Okay, because okay? you're, yeah, I'm awkward. Yeah, so the wrist motion is not uh, let me hold this. The wrist action is not something like uh, you go here and they're going this way, but rather yeah. like this. So hand stays a bit close to your body and then let the clever go. So it's a pivot point. Okay. So then uh, you'll be able to see that the lead arm goes this way. Okay. Right? But if it's too straight, then you just uh, try to go all the way, reach out all the way, this happens. Yeah, so you need to work on the grip, okay? Um, so uh, work on the grip with the coach, okay. with your coach, okay? So now assume the, uh, the setup position again. Have always the feel of lifting the head a little bit. Yeah. So then naturally you'll be able to drop the hands and then Clever is lifted, so you don't let the clever go down. Okay, and from there, um, the in terms of the the pinky here, whether you want to have overlap uh, grip or this, but when you go uh, in this position here, the the distance between the hands uh, increase, then it's uh, more difficult to. Okay, so sorry. instead of you were saying instead of coming way back, it's supposed to be. 
more in. So you should be able to go, go up a little bit. Yeah. You should be able to do this. OK. So the hands goes a bit higher, but curly head stays. OK. Almost you, can, you should be able to go this way. OK. And so uh, overall, in terms of the, the wrist motion, actually main thing is coming from this motion here. Okay. This is called the pronation, supination in the forearm. Uh, anatomic, uh, this is anatomic uh, term, but um, this motion is called the supination in the forearm and the pronation. So you have to use this motion a lot. But if you keep it straight, you can. Mostly it's this motion. Yeah. But if you give an angle here, then you will be able to turn this in, right? This is uh, pronation of the right yes. side. And then this is the, oh, 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 this is, again, this is too rigid. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me hold this. Yeah, you, the way you're holding the, the clip. So this is uh, the way you're holding it. And then when you use the pronation, supination, then swing. Becomes really easy. But if you try to keep the lead arm straight, it puts actually a lot of burden on the wrist. Okay. Because uh, when the elbow flexes slightly, then it uh, shares the range of motion. So you don't have enough uh, excessive range of motion uh, in the wrist. But if this is a lot, then you have to oh. use a lot of range of motion from the wrist. So be careful with that. So again, slightly lift it up. And then try to swing back and forth. Swing. Continuously back and forth. Use your wrist, uh, your, uh, use your wrist a bit more. Yeah, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll address that issue later. Now, first let's have a dance with me. And interestingly, always uh, the lefties, lefties tend to have a strong grip. Severely, uh, uh, you know, s stronger. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Maybe about ninety percent of the lefties wow. show that trend, and then the right shoulder goes really high up here. And if it's not really rigid, the uh, lead arm, then slide the pelvis quite a bit. I don't know why. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, now let's uh, let's uh, put your hands on your chest here, and then pretty much lock the arms here. So that means you're not using your arms. Yeah. Lean forward here, and then we'll uh, have a stepping action here. Actually, take a small step here. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. <laughs> it looks so awkward. <laughs> As if you're doing this for the first time. <laughs> so now, let's try to increase the, the effort okay. by having a little bit of up and down motion. Okay. So what happens is that in order to push the ground really well, then you have to um, bend the knee. So on, only when you have uh, the knee bent, then you'll be able to push, right? So okay. try to, uh, as you lower your body, bend the knee, and then push the ground. Then okay. That will bring you up. So here, go down here, and then up, go down, up, go down, up, go down, up. Is that correct? <laughs> so upper body just stays. Maintain this angle here. Yeah. And then, so when the, the
the knees are bent and up and down, then the hips have to move up and down mm -hmm. instead of moving your upper body like this. So again, take a step. No, 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 no. It's a completely the opposite. So here, step and push, 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 push. Oh, okay. uh, no, 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 no. When you push, you're going the opposite direction, but uh, you have to push and stand on that side here. Okay. Okay. And then go to the left side and then push the left side and stand on the left side here. Right? Turn here. Turn here. So as you push, you have to stand on that side. So here, push and stand here. Push and stand here. You're putting the shoulder in, but actually it has to come from, these are passive. The whole upper, upper body is passive. You are not intentionally turning this, okay? okay? When the legs push the ground, so let's say the right leg is pushing the ground, with that, the pelvis turns like this, then the shoulders will turn with it. Mm -hmm. okay? So instead of uh, pushing this in here, by pushing the right leg, you are turning your shoulders. Yeah. So again, push and then turn. And then left side, the same thing, push and turn. So mm -hmm. keep, keep doing it continuously, continuously. Now here, you are, you are not moving your pelvis this way at all. Okay. You always go, you want to go this way because you are biased uh, to this side. But make the motion more symmetric both ways. Okay. So. Oh, all you need is, uh, all you need is just a shift and then turn. No, don't, don't try to do uh, this here, just the shift. The whole thing, push up, shift it to the right, push, left to push, right push, push. Just a turn, 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 turn. turn. This is a really simple motion. You are making it a lot more complex, but it's just a simple shift in the turn. Okay. Oh, let's do this. So bring your hands, uh, arms down, swing, and then you have a. You are always uh, shifting this side well, but not this this side. Yes. So go from here, shift, and then go to this position. Yeah. So you have a good weight shift here. So most of the weight is uh, uh, basically. Uh, taken care of by this side here. So you should be able to tap, 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 tap. Okay, so the arms are here. From here, again, to the right. But when you go to this side, do not slide the pelvis and then try to do this. Just simply go here and then just stand on this side. And then the left side here. Right side, left, right, left, right. Make it symmetric. Right, left, right, left. Easy with your arms. Right, left. Keep the keep the hands uh, almost uh, together. Swing, 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 swing. No, 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 no. You are, you are moving your pelvis um, intentionally. It's just a whole shift both ways. Don't try to slide the pelvis and then try to do anything. Just from here, shift and then, just a simple shift. Yeah. Okay. 
again. Okay, right. Widen your stance a bit more. Widen stance a bit more. And then again, swing both ways. It almost feels like when I come back, like it locks and I can't. Because you are because you are not using your legs actively. You just try to shift the pelvis, but everything has to come from the leg action. Okay, uh, put, the, put the arms here. Put the arms here. As you move uh, both ways, it's a leg action. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. No, no, no. It's not doing this. It's a simple, just to go down and up, go down and up. Okay. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. No need to slide the pelvis. Here, the, the range you are moving is uh, about here and about here. No more than this. Okay. Your pelvis goes more. Okay? Uh, so the hip goes uh, above the, uh, the foot in the both ways here, about this much. Okay. Do not slide the pelvis. It's called the sliding. Shifting means uh, the whole body is moving together. Here, here, here. The push the leg actively, push, oh. When you go this way, you just uh, slide. Go down and up, 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 down and up. Yep. Uh, slide this time. This way, you tend to just slide, but go here and drop the right side and then push up. The same thing, as you go left side, the drop left side, and then up. So again, let's have, uh, now we'll go a bit uh, faster tempo here. Okay. Bring your arms down. Left, right, left, right. No, 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 don't do this. Okay. Arms are passive. Upper body is passive. You have to use the legs to control everything. Okay? No motion like this. It's a match to my tempo. Left, right, push up, 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 faster, up, 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 up. Still, still sliding. No need to slide the pelvis. You are going like this. Hmm? There's no need to do that. Just dropping up, dropping up, dropping up. Oh, oh, oh. Always, yeah, always when you go this way, you are sliding. Okay? This is a bad habit you picked up. Um, so, uh, it's a mo the motion is simple. We'll just uh, pay attention to the up, up motion. Okay. There's no such a thing called the sliding here, okay? We want to just go up, up, up here, up here. And then get rid of this uh, strange Paris motion. Okay. Just to go down and up, go down and up. Look at this. Go down and up, go down and up, go down and up, go down and up. So go down and up, turn this way. Go down and up here. Go down, oh, no, no. Always uh, as you go this way, the, the pelvis is moving this way here. Just, just a drop, no. Nope. So from this position, go to the right side. So right knee is bent, right? Yes. Uh, then push the ground and turn here. Okay. Now go to the left side. And then push okay. the ground with the left turn here. So the, the push is the, the main engine for the turn motion. Okay. So instead of you intentionally turning the shoulders, the leg action will allow you to turn the pelvis and turn the shoulder. Okay? Okay. 
So again, again, so let's go this way first. Push up, up, up. Ah, no, you are swinging your arms here. Okay. No, if you relax and when you move the body, then arms will just automatically follow. Your pelvis is uh, your your pelvis is just sliding like this. You're not really pushing the ground that well. Yeah, it's a squat and up, but uh, squat and up this way, squat and up this way, squat and up this way, squat and up this way. And you're always pushing with the trail or the the lead. So the direction you are turning, you use that leg in in the direction you are turning. And here, as you are dropping, your upper body is already turning. No, here, from this position, just a drop. Yeah, you have to keep this uh, still uh, closed here. And then by pushing the ground, now you're turning here, okay? Okay. When you shift again, maintain this position, push the ground, and then turn. Drop, and then push, turn. Drop the body, push, turn here. So until, until you push the ground, you have to maintain the shoulder position. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Now. Now. That's it. So when you shift, you're almost shifting backward because your shoulder is turned this way. And then you want to shift that way. That means you have to go backward. Then you maintain this position. Now, when you are in good position to push the ground, in other words, when the knee is uh, enough, uh, bent enough, yeah. push the ground and then turn. Go left and then turn. Go right and push turn. Left and push turn. Right and push turn. Left and push turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So because the turn is coming from the leg action, there's no reason to slide your pelvis. Okay. You simply shift and then push, turn, and shift and push, turn, shift and push, turn, push and turn. So you have to hold it until you actually push the ground. Okay. Again. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Yep. Yep. Now the arms down. Arms down. You are not intentionally swing the arms upper body like this, but rather just a push and then throw, push and the arms throw. Okay. So relax here. When you push the ground with the leg, the hip will move up, and then they will also turn the pelvis. Your, your shoulder will turn with that. You are throwing the arms here. So throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. That way, that way, you will be able to keep the arms uh, passive. And they keep the hands uh, close to each other instead of going wide like this. You try to keep it the closer. And then the goal is by using the leg action, you're throwing the hands up, throwing the hands up. Mm -hmm. So when you swing the arms, your goal is not to pull it down. Okay, rather drop and throw this way. You are you are putting too much emphasis on the lowering action, and not the, not the yeah upward up, up action here. So when you uh, put too much emphasis on the lowering action, what happens is lower the body and the pull. Right? But instead, just uh, drop the body quickly, drop the body quickly, and then push and then throw. Push and throw, push and throw, push and throw. Okay. The, pelvis is, uh, the pelvis is sliding too much. 
That's why you have this motion here. Instead, just to drop it, only you need to just lower this side. No need to slide. Yeah, and then push, and then throw. And when you also, when you push, when you push, you tend to go like this. Just to push up. Yeah, the push action will give you up, up motion. So your goal is to throw the arms all the way out, throw the arms all the way out, not pulling it down, pulling it down, okay? okay. Push up, push out and up. Throw out, throw out, throw out, throw out, 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 out. Okay, now imagine we have uh, switches here, okay. up here. Your goal is to go reach and touch the switch and touch the switch. No, 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 you're putting the emphasis on the lowering action. Go out and push, out and push. Try to, try, try to stay here a bit more here and here. So you have to you have to push and touch the switch, touch the switch. No, no, no. Still, the the image is not right. You are pulling it down. You are always going down, going down like this. Instead, um, up, pushing the up. Sorry. Here you have to have more effort and push up. Drop it and push up here. Yes. Then you will be able to activate your legs. Your goal is to reach out and then touch the switch. Reach out and touch the switch. Your goal is to go that way, this way, not bringing down, <laughs> bringing down here. Okay. okay. Mm. Have, have more time at the end. Okay. Because if, if your goal is to go reach out and then touch the switch, you want to stay here instead of go here and quickly come down here. Push up, push up, push up. If you look at the leg action, push the ground, and then this side will go up. With that, you are reaching as high as possible here. Okay. Bring it, just drop it, just a drop, and then push out. So your accent should be on pushing and reaching out, push and reach out, push and reach out. Okay. That's the end goal. No, 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 no. Still go here and then you try to pull it down. No, it's not this motion. Just the drop here and then push. So here, drop and then Push up, 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 push up. So that way you can use the leg. Okay. Again, your goal is to reach, reach out. <laughs> no need to put a lot of effort here. Okay. It's just the dropping. Just the dr relax your arms. Okay? You will only put effort in reaching out. On the way down, you are not intentionally swinging. Just the drop it and the push out. Yeah. The goal is to push out and reach out. Not coming down here. Push up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Throw the arms up. Reach out and touch. Reach out and touch. Reach out and touch. When your goal is to reach out here, 
that there is no reason to slide the pelvis like this. Just a drop, reach out. Okay, throw out, throw out, and then imagine that uh, you have switch actually above your head. Okay. Then you have to turn all the way here, yeah. turn all the way. Completely, almost go vertical, vertically upward. Forget about your golf swing. Just uh, uh, pay attention to the, the task at hand here. Okay. Again, the, the task is by pushing the ground, you will be able to bring the body up. With this, you want to reach as high as possible here. And then drop it, just to drop the arms, and then push in the reach again. Yes, 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 yes. That's, that's what I wanted. So in other words, in other words, when you have to go this way, instead of pulling this arm down, rather push this left arm up. Right? So the, the, the one leading the motion should go out, out here, instead of the trail, the, the trail side is uh, pulling it down, pulling it down. Okay. Out, again. Mm. Yeah, now it's, it's getting better. I can still feel a little bit slight. Yeah, because your, your body is relatively uh, you know, thin and then you have a flexibility, so that happens. And also, the way you have you know, done your swing is like that. So we cannot get rid of it uh, you know, at once. However, in, in your image, it's really important to have uh, the right image. The image is not pulling down, but rather throw by kicking the ground, throw. Yes, yes. So this is a huge difference because if you try to pull it down, what happens is your pelvis slides here and they pull it down. But if your interest is throwing this, then you don't do this. Just to, just to drop the body and then kick and then throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so both ways. Both ways, the same thing. Again, reach out, reach out. So reach out all the way. Mm. 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 Up, 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 up. Yeah. And then have a bit more time at the end. Okay. You go up and then quickly coming down instead go up and stay, and then come down and stay. Have more time, have more time at the top, have more time at the top, and then drop it and push. Reach up, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out. Yeah, so in order to reach out, you have to push the leg and then reach out, push the leg and reach out. So that way you can awaken your lower body. Okay. But if you always pull down, there's no way to do this because you want to go this way. Then the, body, the pelvis collapses in order to bring it down. But when you throw, throw, you'll be able to see that the leg is kicking the ground. Yeah, exactly. Right. Again, yes. So this is uh, the main difference. Okay. This makes a big, huge difference in terms of whether you can use your lower body or not. Okay. So if the image is incorrect, then you will not be able to engage your lower body. Okay, now, um, okay, do, do it again. I will record this and show you what you're doing. So again, the, the key is pushing up, 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 okay? Up and reach out. So go.
Ah, uh, still pulling down. No, no, no. Both ways, uh, if you look at, uh, let me record this. Okay. You will see your pelvis motion. So just to do what you currently do. Swing. Yeah. See the way your pelvis moves. Yeah. The pelvis is sticky, the, the butt is sticking out both ways. So still you're going like this. Instead, instead push and reach out. Don't try to swing it. Just try to reach out, drop it and reach out. No, 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 don't swing it. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine um, you have a, a swing in your backyard. Mm -hmm. You're riding the swing. Wait until this motion is completed and then you will push. Wait and push. So wait and push. 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 Push instead of try to swing it. Okay. I can feel Still. it turning. So. So when you go up here, your pelvis is sliding out and then try to pull it down. But yeah. instead, go up here, no pelvis sliding, just the drop the left side. Just the, the drop the, the right side here and the push and then throw the arms and then go slightly leftward from here, just the push, turn, push, turn, Push, and then put, the, put more effort in the pushing action. Okay. So that means uh, push and then turn, put more emphasis on the turn by pushing, pushing the leg. Push, 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 push. Mm. Yeah, push, 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 push. The, the accent is at push, 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 push. Only one, only the lead leg, not the trail leg. Mainly the mainly the leg in, in, uh, leading will be uh, doing the pushing action. Okay. Both ways, push, left push, right push, left push, right push, left, right, right. Mm -hmm. Because you are using arms intentionally, you just try to swing here. The arms should be passive, and then by kicking the ground, and then throw, throw, throw. Don't try to swing the arms, as I repeatedly said. Don't try to swing the arms using the arms. Rather, this is passive here, so if the leg is pushing, you're throwing the arms, throwing the arms, throwing the arms. Mm -hmm. Just to throw this way, and then drop and throw this way, drop and throw this way. So instead of coming in, go out, out. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Both, both arms. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, start pulling, start pulling. So as you repeat, you start pulling. Again, push, push, push out. Okay. Yeah, with, the, uh, with the pushing, you eliminate that uh, strange pelvis motion. Okay. So again, out, 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 yes. Out, 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 out. <laughs> Mm 
Mm -hmm. Swing, swing, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, up, 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 up. Look at this. You see, you eliminate the excessive pelvis mm -hmm. slide. Again, look at this. Pulling, pulling, dropping, dropping, pulling, pulling. That's why the pelvis is sliding. Push up, 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 up. So your leg motion, pelvis motion is a lot simpler here. Mm -hmm. This is the, the idea. Good, very good. Again, again, push out, push out. They have the image of reaching out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Swing, 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 swing. Now, so when you have that image, then keeping the lead arm straight is not important because here you try to pull it down, but if your goal is to throw the arms, then Actually, having this uh, you know, straight, rigid arm is actually the problem. Okay. You can do this here, but if you try to throw, you have to uh, be uh, you know, easy on the, the lead arm, right? Yeah. So again, have a good image of uh, reaching out, reaching out by pushing the ground. Yes. 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 Yeah, so now you eliminated that figure eight type motion here, sliding here, because it's as simple as this motion here. Let it go, let it go. Okay. Now the switch is right above your head, so you have to turn all the way here, and then naturally you'll have a slightly reverse pivot posture here. And then when you throw the arms this way, again the same thing, if you wanna reach the switch at, uh, above your head, then you have to have reverse pivot posture. So, okay. Yeah, go to this position again. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. The accent is a push, tick, tick, push, 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 push. push. Now, let's have a smaller motion, smaller motion. Okay. Relax your arms. Again, let's go about this high. Up, 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 up. Make it faster. Yes, now you can do that. Yeah, good. Yes. So this is possible because your leg is uh, active, activated quickly. So if the one way to check whether you really got the rhythm is when you have really fast tempo motion. Then if you can do this, that means you are using the legs and have the control. But if you do this, you cannot do that. <laughs> okay. So one way to check whether you got the rhythm correct or not is, again, so swing, swing, bigger and then slower tempo. And then as you increase the speed, so you can have a quick, quick motion. This is possible. These, these are all coming from push, 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 right? So this is a good sign, okay. Now, let's go to uh, the rope swing. So swing the rope with a similar idea. You're not pulling, but pushing, okay? Push out, push out, push out, push out, and then out, and then out, and out. Instead of pulling down, pulling down, Pulling down. Okay, I see. The same thing. Swing back and forth all the way. Uh, and then when you push the when you when you push the ground, when you push the ground, then the pelvis is turn like this. Turn, turn, turn. So you have to use the body turn to drive the rope okay. instead of using the arms. Sorry. 
Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's hitting your face. Now here. So the whole purpose of this is to develop good, consistent motion plane. You have to pay attention to motion at the end of the rope. And then create, uh, generate motion like this. You can still move the body up and down, but not too much. The goal is to drive the rope consistently, mm -hmm. particularly the end of the rope. Mm -hmm. So pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. You have to feel it. When you give enough speed, it will automatically go around your body. And then no need to use the arms like this, because if you just keep your hands in front of your body, just turn the body, your, your hands are here. Turn the body, then your hands are here. You can have a fair amount of motion, fair amount of rotation, by simply turning the body. And then just to flex the elbow a little bit, flex the elbow a little bit here. That's all you need. But if you try to swing this with the arm action here, then <laughs> it's all over. Okay. Again, your goal is to generate consistent motion. You have to figure it out how to uh, generate the consistent motion back and forth. So turn the body nicely, turn the body nicely. Is that correct? No. So what happens is as you swing, your body is going down. But the lowering should be done before that. Lowering this side and then throw, lower this side and throw, lower this side and throw, instead of going together. Currently, your lower body action and arm action are going together. But lower body motion first and then throw, lower body motion first and then throw, throw, throw instead of, okay? No, 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 no. As you start the, the motion, you're going down at the same time. Instead, go up here, this first, and then throw. Remember, shift the first, and then already lower the body. As you push, and then turn here. Okay. The leg push will give you a turn motion. But in order to push the ground, you already lower the body and then push. Okay. No, no, no. The, the emphasis is not pulling down, pulling down, lowering here. Lower the body and then push up, lower and then push up. Remember, the leg push will give you turn here. The, the arms should be passive. You are not swinging it with your arms, but rather using the lower body. So you have to have a good shoulder turn. Imagine this. Yeah, good shoulder turn and then throw out. Throw out. The pelvis is not turning enough. Pelvis is not turning enough. That's why you are using the arms. When, when you have the leg action, naturally, pelvis turns, 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 turns here. With that, you'll have turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder. Okay. So you are from here, you are throwing the left arm out, then the rope will follow. Instead of Pulling this in here, okay? okay? Throw out, throw out. Again, with the rope, still your image is drawing out, drawing out. With the arms, you could do that. So uh, the same idea. The goal is to uh, push and then throw out, throw the rope out. No, 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 no. You are rushing down. That's why I'm pulling. Here, watch my motion. 
One thing important is you should be able to watch and recognize good movement pattern. Okay? It's not just about you doing it, but you should be able to recognize good movement pattern. So see what I'm doing. Okay. You have to see how I'm doing this. Go up here, throw, throw, throw. Instead of pulling down, pulling down, pulling down, I'm throwing out, throwing out, throwing out, throwing out, throwing out. So my pushing action and this turning is matched. So you should have a good wind up weight, okay, weight here. And then as you, your leg pushes, then turn. Yes, remember that. So let's do the arm motion again. Throw out, throw out. Ah, start pulling again. Reach out, reach out. Okay, keep doing, keep doing, keep. Reach out. Pelvis says turn, turn the pelvis, turn the pelvis, turn, 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 turn. turn. Yes. So the whole driving, the, the, the driving force is uh, the leg action. With the leg action, pelvis turns, with the shoulder turns, and then throw. Instead of pulling it here, throw out. So when you throw out the natural, you should have enough time at the end. Because you, you threw it, and you have to wait until this uh, throwing action is completed. Then throw this way, wait. Throw this way and wait. Okay. No, still that motion is coming down, down. Up, 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 up. Here, yeah, not this arm here. As you kick, the throw out. Throw out. Throw out. Throw out. When you throw the arms, you have to turn the shoulder here. Turn the shoulder. Yes. Yes. Oh, you have to turn the shoulder more. Turn the shoulder more. Your problem is you're not turning the shoulder enough and then just doing the arms, using the arm here. But turn the shoulder out. Turn the shoulder out. Turn. Turn. Mm hmm Yes. Now it's better timed. So the reason why you are using arms is because you are not turning the pelvis and shoulders. The motion should come from the body turn and then you are adding the arm motion at the end. Both ways, turn the body and then add the arm motion at the end. The arms are active at the end, not from the beginning, okay? Now the sound is a bit different because you are matching the, the time. And also on the way down, it's not about the arm motion, but turn and then sh turn the shoulder enough. You are not turning the shoulder enough. Both ways, both ways. Mm -hmm. Turn the shoulder and throw. Turn the shoulder and throw the arms. Turn, turn, yes. Kick, 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 and then at the end of the backswing, give more time. Backswing also is a pushing this way, and the pushing this way. Okay, so push. Then if you really push, you will have enough turn here, right? From here, push, push, push. These are uh, these push throw. It's coming from your shoulder turns, ultimately. Yeah. It's not your arms, but your shoulders. Mm -hmm. More time. 
Yeah, push out, push out, push out. Now, let me show you this. So I uh, see what I'm doing. You have to time the leg action at the upper body turn. So the lower body action should really help the upper body turn. Okay. It shouldn't, be, shouldn't come from the, your arm action. Okay. Downplay your arm, arm action. Use your body more. Just the throw. Mm -hmm. Swing. Swing. Swing, swing. And in the back swing, you have to give more time. At the end of the back swing, give more time and let it go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Throw out both ways. Both ways, throw out. Push throw, push throw. Push throw. Is that whenever that happens? Is that because you're not time? Because your body is already moving. You, you, you are not wait, waiting until the, t the turn is completed. Let it go and the wait until this is completed and then start moving instead of this is still going this way. You already tried to uh, go down. Mm -hmm. Swing, swing. So, so the goal is the goal is to use the lower body to promote the upper body turn. As you engage the lower body more and more, you don't have to use your arms a lot. Okay. Again. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go and wait, let it go and wait, let it go and wait. Instead of pulling, pulling. Now, the time is getting better and better. But try to now pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. So the goal is to generate con consistent motion. Okay. Then you have to adjust your body motion to make sure you have this con consistent motion. Currently, your body is moving too much. So the, the rope motion is not stable. Okay? So generate consistent uh, rope motion. So you have to adjust to your body motion, but still maintain a similar rhythm. You have to you have to judge whether it's correct or not, okay. whether the motion is uh, consistent or not. Okay. So let's say uh, you touch, try to touch the the tip both ways. Now, no need to swing that hard, so reduce the rigor, but try to develop good consistent motion and touch, touch, touch. Now let's uh, practice something new here. Keep your arms here and then lean forward. 
So as you swing this way, so this is the end of the downswing. Mm -hmm. Here, when you start the backswing, first you will shift backward here. The automatically the left knee is bent, right? This has to be done at the end of the downswing. Okay. So again, swing and coming to this position. And then swing and come to this position. Swing and come to this position here. Okay. So that shift motion is called recentering. So you, for example, uh, shift away. If this is the target direction for you, shift away and then recenter. Coming back to the centered position, shift away and then recenter and then swing. Swing and you have the shift motion this way and then recenter, swing. As you turn, you have this. Uh, Motion there, recenter. So the shift motion has to go earlier than the turn motion. Okay. But because you are shifting and turning at the same time, that's why you have this motion here. But instead of drop and turn, drop and turn, drop and turn. So practice this. Kick the pelvis actively, kick the, uh, the kick the ground actively, and then turn the pelvis. Okay. Yeah. You need to, the shift motion, but not that much. You are sliding like this. But instead, here, when you when you are going to shift this way in the back swing, push push this uh, push my hands here. Push my hands with your body. Oh. Yeah, you have to shift it this way, not sliding the pelvis, okay? okay? So using the whole trunk here, shift, and then turn around. No, 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 when you turn, don't drop. The drop should be done before that. With, the, with the, this shift motion, you, you already have a drop here. When you start turning, just to push and then turn here. Because your problem is as you start the turn, you're dropping the body. That's why uh, the, the timing is not right. The dropping should be done beforehand. Before the turn is started, you already have a, no, you already have this drop motion, so just simply kick and then turn. Once the turn starts, no more dropping. Okay. Okay? You simply kick and the turn, kick and turn. Swing, 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 swing. Before you start the turn, your pelvis is sliding. It's not pelvis sliding. When, when pelvis slides, what happens here? Pelvis slides and your, your arms are dropping here. Instead, just the shift, drop the body. Drop the body this way and then turn. Drop the body this way and turn. Drop and turn. No, no pelvis slide. No, just the drop. And then from here, just the turn. And then drop, just the turn. Drop and turn, drop and turn, drop and turn. Again. Now swing the rope back and forth. Again, your goal is to have a continuous and a consistent motion. Okay. Make sure you are swinging the rope along the same plane both ways. If not, then you have to adjust your body motion to secure that. So let's have a purposeful practice. You have to pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. You have to move it consistently. If it does not happen, then you have to adjust your body motion to make that happen.
try to try to reduce the lowering motion. Let's see how it goes. Still, leg action should be active, but leg should be active, but no too much dropping. Mm. Particularly when you start the backswing, from here when you start backswing, you see the arms here. The body turns and then add the arms. Body turn and then add the arms. The arm motion should be added later, not from the beginning. That's why in the backswing, your rope motion is abrupt. Just in the downswing, the same thing. Just turn enough that from here, body turn and then bring the arms. As you swing, as you swing, try to keep the hands in front of your body and see how it goes. Swing back and forth, but try to keep the hands in front of your chest. Okay, that means you don't shouldn't you shouldn't use the arms a lot. It's not arm-driven motion; it's a body-driven motion. Okay, now, the rope slows down here and then it just goes about this much and then you're already turning. Mm -hmm. Down on the turn. Always uh, when you start the, the turn, you're going down. But now here, so at the end of the back swing, about here, you're turn, already turning the body. You go here and then turn the body instead of go and the weight Keep the upper body here, and then you have to move your lower body and then turn here. So what should happen is, uh, at the end of the back swing, go to the top. At the end of the back swing, the rope should go all the way here. Okay. okay? You have to wait until this happens. You actually have to make this happen. Currently, the rope goes about here. Okay. So, so at the end of the back swing, you have to keep extra shoulder turn here. Don't stop. You have to keep extra shoulder turn, then this will go here. Wait until this happens. And then you can start the downswing using the body turn and then let it go. Okay. Okay, so wait until the rope wraps around your body. So if it's a slow, if it's a slow, then you cannot do that. Yeah. Backswing should be reasonably fast so that using the momentum, the rope goes around your body. Mm, the the rope slows down quite a bit here at, the, at the end of the action. It's not going all the way in here. Mm -hmm. It just stops about here. Yeah. You have to let the rope go. Again, throw, throw the rope so that it can go around your body. Your goal is not to just lift this up here, but rather let it go so that the rope goes around your body. Till the end, the end of back swing, what happens is uh, the, the rope slows down and then goes like this. Instead, in my case, the rope goes all the way here. Swing came in here. You have to let the end of the rope go all the way. But you are slowing down here. It drops. But keep continuous motion. You have to add extra shoulder turn. Yes. Wait, wait until that happens. Before it wraps, you, if your body already turns in the upper direction, then you're rushing. Okay. Wait until the back swing is uh, matured. 
Mm -hmm. uh, still rushing. So in, at the end of back swing, the rope goes around here. Wait until this hits here, then start down swing. Instead of it's coming in and you already turn the, the upper body. Always uh, because you, your goal is to uh, throw all the way. It will go all the way here. Throw this way and it will go all the way. If you're pulling, then this is what you, you, you do. So then you don't care what happens after that. Pull, then this is the main portion here, and then you don't care what happens. But if you try to throw, then at the end of the throwing action, the rope has to go around your body. Again, reach out, reach out, reach out. Yes. 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 Now, the rope motion is a lot more consistent because you're not using your arms. You let the rope go all the way in here and then start the downswing with the body turn and then let it go. That's why. But if you have, uh, the rope is still going here but you already start pulling because of arm action, it becomes inconsistent. Let me record this. Okay. The same thing. Give enough time at the end. Okay, go. Swing. Swing. Give enough time. Let go. Whoa. Look at this. The rope motion is now a lot more consistent. Mm -hmm. Because you started using your the body more. So the, now the timing is better. When you use the arms, then always you have this motion here. But if the, you're using the body, throw the body, then this the, does not happen, right? So again. So now feel the motion of the end of the rope. You have to really be friend with the, the rope, okay? So feel the motion of the rope back and forth, whether you are swinging hard or going a bit soft, but the bottom line is you have to feel the motion of the rope. Okay. Yes. Now you're using, using the leg when you throw the rope. Um, it's a lot better now. So the rope is a good tool. Uh, this is yours. Take it with you. And then use the rope when you warm up. And sometimes when you feel uh, your motion pattern is off, then use the rope. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you can also do it uh, uh, horizontally here. Keep the body upright. And the main is swing it horizontally. Swing, 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 engaging the lower body, practicing uh, you know, the, uh, the lower body action. Mm -hmm. So toward the end of the back swing, squat already. And as you squat and then shift, then this leg is uh, bent. And then by kicking and then going. So here. Initially, just the horizontal motion here, no squatting, but so this squat motion and the shifting occurs at the end of the back swing, not at the in the down swing. So this squatting and the shifting should be done as part of the yeah. back swing. So let's do uh, the horizontal swing. Horizontal, horizontal, so keep, keep the body kind of upright. Kick, 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 kick. So if you want to swing hard in the downswing, you have to use your lead leg. Kick the ground and then throw. So in order to do that, you have to obviously lower this, right? So at the end of the back swing, you're already lowering. 
And then, so once the downswing starts, just a kick and then throw. So you don't intentionally bring it down, but rather from here, just one action, throw. No need to bring it down, okay? So, so from the wind-up position, throw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the back swing, let the end of rope go more, and then so wrap all the way. Okay. Yeah. So keep enough speed in the back swing. This is the key. You have to make your back swing active enough. Okay. Okay. Now, so your your motion pattern has changed quite a bit. Initially, it was quite awkward, but now it's a heaven and earth difference. So that means uh, you can do it, but it's simply uh, you, you're doing something else. And that this, is, this is something new. Yes. But actually, this is what we have in our DNA. Okay. This is natural movement pattern. But for some reason, we deviate from, from that. But now I try to bring you back to the, the typical natural motion pattern. So uh, keep uh, uh, this. And then we'll go to the orange whip swing here. You can really tell the difference in his leg you know, on the yeah. Now as you swing this, uh, this is heavier than the rope, but still it's uh, reasonably flexible. Yes. But because it's heavier, so it's not that easy. That means, so when the physical characteristics change, so in other words, the inertia, inertia changes, mm -hmm. then you have to match your body motion to that. Okay? So we have to quickly, you have to quickly figure out what is the best way to swing this by using the body really well. Swing here. Okay? So still think that you are holding a rope. Okay. That means uh, imaginarily you are waiting until the rope goes around your body and then execute the downswing. Swing back and forth. You don't have to swing really hard, but try to feel the flow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Very good. So now, particularly when you have something heavier, that means it puts more burden on your body then your body assumes better motion. It organizes the motion better, wow. naturally. That's what we have in the human body. You just let your body figure it out, okay? And then uh, all you need to do is just uh, you know, feel the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then if you feel something awkward, that means you intentionally try to dominate something. You have to play with it. When you push the swing, wait until this happens, and then let it go, wait, and let it go. When you shoot an arrow, mm, enough tension, and then let it go instead of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so always uh, uh, depending on the inertial characteristics of the device you are, you are using, your motion has to adjust, right? So that's important. You have to work with the device. But now uh, your motion pattern is pretty good. So now swing back and forth, but uh, try to establish more stability here. As you swing, if you feel your body is kind of wobbling, that means still your lower body is not controlling the whole thing. As you swing back and forth, it should be fairly stable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then now, both ways, both at the, both the ends, minimize the bending. Okay. If the whip bends, that means that the head wants to go this way, you're forcing it in the opposite direction. That's why it bends. So if you wait until this motion is completed here, it will bend slightly, but not much. Okay. So if you minimize the bending, that means you give enough time here and then let it go. Enough time and then let it go. Instead of... Okay. So wait until the motion is completed and then let it go. So that way you will be able to minimize the bending. So don't fight, but work with the whip.
Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And also, when you start the backswing, when you start backswing, so uh, at the end of the downswing here, and when you start the backswing, instead of pulling the arms down here, use the body and then throw. Always the body, throw, body and throw, body and throw. Both ways, particularly when you start the backswing. Okay. That way you can really have a consistent motion back and forth. So you don't fight at the end of the backswing, the same thing, you don't fight at the end of the downswing. And in order, to, in order to maintain the balance, you have to use the legs actively. Only when you engage the legs actively, then you can control this. If your leg is passive and then this is heavy, then as you swing, you lose balance. Yeah. Okay, I will record. Go ahead. Swing, no fight. Swing, swing, no fight. Let it go, kick the right leg, and downswing, kick, 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 okay. Yeah, so this way you will be able to use the, the body more, uh, in a more orchestrate, orchestrated way, mm -hmm. okay? So um, the whole body is moving. I can see it bending on the back, back swing. And now the pelvis is going a bit more yeah. this way. Yeah. So your lower body is more active, particularly the right leg in the downswing is more active. So this is the idea. Again, let me record from this direction. Okay, ready, go. Continue swing, swing, swing. Don't fight, but uh, work with the work with the orange whip. Play play with it. Feel the motion of the e end of the whip. Good. Yeah. So consider uh, rem if I uh, look back, your motion with the uh, in initial motion with the rope. <laughs> Comparing to that, this is a uh, heaven and earth difference. Okay. Mm. And then, so in doing this, if your right arm is too rigid, then you can go a bit easier. Okay, so let it go. Loosen up. Yeah, let it go. You don't have to keep it really rigid, straight. Okay. Um. It's fairly upper body driven thing. <laughs> So in the downswing, you have to have a good amount of uh, force on the, on the lead side. So the trail side does not have that much weight bearing, mm -hmm. okay? So it seems uh, in this motion, as you repeat, because you are using the arms, you have a center, it's called the center pressure, but uh, where the force is, ground wish force is acting, but it's uh, in the middle because you're swinging like this. But if you have good shift and then swing, good shift and swing, then the force shifts to this side, this side, this side. It moves back and forth instead of staying in the middle. Yeah, now it's uh, better. You're pushing the ground. Mm -hmm. so now you're standing on the lead side. And in the back swing, you should be able to stand on the trail side good. Okay? But I'm still a little bent. I can see that. Yeah. You're still. Uh, Reservation there. Yeah. So, in order to have a good shift away in the backswing, then, so this is the end of the downswing, right? Mm -hmm. Here, you will shift the first, shift enough, and then turn and then stand on the left side. 
And also, what will what help is if you lower the left side here, and then by pushing the ground, bring this back, then automatically your left hip is on the left foot. Okay. But if you go from here, just to try to turn this way, then you don't let the pelvis go. So make sure here and you shift enough and then turn here in the back swing. So again, we can go a bit slower. But the key is, um, you know, when you start the back swing, you have to shift the body first and then turn. And shift back. So swing and then shift back and then turn. So in the back swing, you have to turn around your left, left hip. No, 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 not this here. So go to the end of the downswing. Go to the end of the downswing. So finish here, there, right? Here, before you start the back swing, okay, first the shift to the left and then turn. Then your left knee is already bent and the push the ground and the stand on the left side. Stand on the left side. So that you can tap, 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 tap. Yeah, you have this much weight bearing on the left side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at the beginning of the back swing, if you have a shift enough, then turn, then automatically you have a good shift away. But from here, if you just turn here, then the pelvis cannot go. So that's why uh, this is called the shun rhythm, shift turn rhythm. Shift first and then turn. So the, you know, it's a, uh, what is it, the composition of uh, shift and turn. So always in one direction, you will shift first and then turn, and shift and turn, shift and turn, shift and turn. But this is not, not sliding the pelvis and then the upper body is lowering here. Not this one here, but rather, the whole shift is just dropping the body this way and then turn, shift and turn, shift and turn. So particularly in order to emphasize the backswing shift, before you start the backswing, at the end of the downswing, you have to shift first and then turn here. Okay. Oh. In the downswing, uh, the, in the, when you start the backswing, shift and then just uh, turn the body instead of pulling the arms down. Turn the shoulder. Turn the shoulder. Yes. Uh -huh. Turn the shoulder. Let it go. Turn the shoulder. Let it go. Mm -hmm. That way it's easier to shift. But if you pull the arms down, Go up here, and if you pull the arms down, it's hard to move the body. Always the body shift first and then just a turn around that hip. Shift and turn around this hip. Shift and turn around this hip here. Again. So when you have a good body turn, no need to use your arms a lot. Oh, rushing, rushing, rushing. At the end of the back swing, you're, you're rushed. Let it go all the way, so minimize the bending. Both ways, minimize the bending. No fighting. Hmm. Yeah, so um, again, now let's go to um, your club swing here. Swing the club back and forth as if you are holding a rope. Uh, it, when you start the back swing, still you are pulling the uh, arms. 
So let's do this. If you go really easy, okay? If you really go, uh, go easy here, then it's as simple as like just swing, swing. If you have a club-centric perspective, the club is moving along this swing plane here. And then, You can increase the speed, but still along the same plane. So initially, go easy. Go easy and pay attention to the club motion. Move the club really consistently back and forth. No need to swing hard. But try to develop consistent motion, easy, consistent motion. Always at the beginning of the, the backswing, your arms are active. Let me record this and then show you. So ready, go. Swing back and forth. Swing back and forth. Swing back and forth. Okay. So look at this. The bouncing plane and the, the backswing plane. See. So from here, uh, you're swinging. So this is the downswing plane here, right? Mm -hmm. Then from this position, when you come down, it's a lot more, a lot steeper here. So you're not letting the club head go along the same path here. Okay. So if this is the downswing path here, and you are going here, and if uh, the hands are high, it's dropped like this, Still, you have to let the club head go around so that you can follow the same plane. But what happens is you're pulling it. Uh, like a hammer. Mm. So turn around. So basically, both the ways you have make sure that, that you are swinging the club head along the consistent plane here, particularly at the beginning of the backswing. Okay. This is what you have to... Uh, Pay attention to, and then uh, adjust. It doesn't have to be really hard swing, but be aware of what you're doing, and the, how the club head is moving back and forth, particularly at the beginning of the backswing. So use the body turn to drive everything instead of pulling the hands down. That's better. That's better. better. Yeah, the clip is now moving a lot more consistent. Okay. Again. So you are the one who's uh, moving the club, right? Then you are the one who, you are the only one who can control the club motion. We cannot do that. It's you who uh, has to uh, control the swing plane, right? So you have, to, you have to pay attention to how the club head is moving. And then if necessary, you have to make uh, you know, adjustments again. If necessary, you have to change the way you move your body and then make the motion consistent. Now let me record. Let me record from here. Okay. Ready? Go. Swing back and forth continuously. Swing. Swing. Give more time at the top, swing, swing, minimize the bending, minimize the bending.
So the downstream, basically your downstream is um, go up here and then you are going like this. But the downstream should be go up here and then mm, and then turn at once. Mm, and then at once instead of. So keep the shoulder closed a bit longer, more time. And then as you shift your body, no shoulder turn. Wait until the shift is reasonably done, and then at once let it go by kicking the ground. Okay. So in the back swing, your goal is to uh, give a good shoulder wind up all the way, instead of try to quickly come down. Push out and push out. Backswing plane is uh, more inward. So backswing, the clavicle that goes out this way, and it comes in this way here. Uh -huh. So you have to adjust the direction of the backswing plane as well. Okay, so we should go more this way, right? So this when, way. You start, when you start the backswing, you, you, start, uh, you have to start with a flatter plane, then it'll come this way. Okay. But because you are starting steep, it goes in all the way. And the downswing plane is now quite outward. When you have a really outward plane, then the, you hit the ball outward. If you have enough uh, side spin, then it will come back. But if not, then you have a block shot. So pay as, again, as you swing back and forth, you have to pay attention to uh, your swing plane, whether you are swinging outward or more s square or more inward. You have to pay attention to that. And also, uh, your club, to me, your club is a bit too light. But um, um, so what? Now, what we'll do is uh, with uh, the so-called the two-step swing drills. And um, it's called, uh, uh, what we'll do is uh, stage three. It has three stages. Uh, stage one is taking two steps with the feet together. Mm. So throw toward the target first. This is called the trigger motion. Yeah. So the trigger motion, and then at the end of the trigger motion, ooh, and you will take this away step. And then at the end of the back swing, you will take the toward step, and then let it go. So it's two step. Mm. Stage two, eliminate the first step with the narrow stance here. Mm. Mm. <coughs> only take the, the step toward the target. This is stage two. Okay. Stage three, no step. Mm. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> so we'll do a stage three. Okay. And then, but you will have to use this trigger motion toward the target first. So no step. No step. So you will use your regular stance. So by using the trigger, you are throwing the club this way and with that, you will, you will be able to do active backswing. Active backswing means a faster backswing. Again, the trigger should be also fairly active. That means you have to use your body. Instead of just throwing the club, just throwing the club here, using the body. And also, at the end of the, hold it, hold it. At the end of the trigger motion, you have to have enough time here. Okay. So as if uh, the swing is coming to you and the wait until this is completed and then push, the same thing. 
mm, and the weight instead of pulling it down, and then start the back swing. When you have enough time here, then you also have enough time at the, at the top of the back swing. If you rush here, then you will rush here. Again. So the backswing should go more. Let the club head go more. So your goal, let's see. Uh, it's a bit too much, but um, at least you have to pass the horizontal alignment. So let's go to the top. So your goal is to go about this much here. Then it will go a bit more. Okay. Okay? Instead of bring the hands all the way high up here, just to give more wrist cock here. Okay. And then oh, also, you have to use the wrist. You have to use the wrist. So imagine you have a sticker, a sticker you want to get rid of. Okay? But you are so lazy. So instead of doing this, you try, you try to shake it off by swinging the club. Quick. So if you give a wrist a snap, then it will fall off. Right? Mm -hmm. So shake it off. Okay. So again, stage three, good trigger. Again. The, the trigger motion give a bit more time. So the backswing should be the, the key. You have active backswing using the trigger motion. So in order to do the backswing actively, then toward the end of the trigger motion, mm, shift. Yeah. Mm, shift, and then <coughs> you have to use your left leg in the, in the backswing. That's the key. Yeah, so the key is having active backswing. And in the active backswing, you shift away and the lower that side a little bit so that you can easily push the ground. So again, throw the club, and then you are shifting, naturally shifting in the bending here. And then kick and then turn around. Then by the time you finish the turn, you will see that this side is straight, well extended here. Mm -hmm. Again, so the key is you have to have a really active back swing and then you have to turn the body, so build the tension. Then on the way down, you will be able to use these big muscles here instead of using the arm muscles. So the main purpose of the trigger motion is to promote active back swing. Mm -hmm. Again, kick the ground with the right leg. Uh, on the way down. Again, let's, do, uh, let's go to stage two, stage two. So you will take a step that way. Yeah, so that way you will be able to uh, engage the, the lead foot better. Okay, stage two. Yes. So once you, after, after taking the step, kick and push, right? Yes, again. Uh, still have more time at the top, at the top. Yeah. And they have a good push and then wait and let it go. So the key, if you want to have really active uh, downswing, then you have to have good wind up and have more time. Ready, and then go. Okay. 
So instead of trying to swing hard in the downswing, rather have more wind up, active wind up. Mm -hmm. Again. And also, on the way down, if your hands move away from your body too much, then what happens is uh, you're pretty much swinging like this, but you also need to swing with a little bit of angle here so that it can go like this. Okay. okay. So let it go. Instead of keeping everything straight and all the way here, swing and then so that it can go like this. Okay. So you can use pronation, supination. Stage, stage two. Again. And then flip it this way here. If, if you swing, flip it this way. Like that. Then the hinge should be a bit lower instead of the hands, hands uh, going high. Mm. So we'll keep the swing plane a bit flatter, and so go this way more, okay? Again. More active trigger. So, Vijay Singh. Keep a bit of the angle. Drop the hands a bit more. Lift, lift the clip, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again. A good wind up. The, the wind up is the key, not the, you know, a lot of effort in the downstream, but the good effort in the, uh, in the wind up is the key. So that's the rhythm. No rush at the top. Okay, have a good wind up enough time, and then your trail leg is pushing the ground good, and let it go. Instead of you quickly coming down here, wait until the back swing is matured here, and then at once let it go. Instead of okay. So stage three, no step. As you repeat this again and again, you will find the more comfortable uh, pattern because this is a natural movement. Okay? And then on the way down, keep the swing plane a bit flatter. Yeah. And then using your wrist, and you are just throwing the club head to shake off uh, the, uh, the sticker, right? So when you have a good snap at the end, if you have a snap here, then it's called the casting, but uh, go up here and then come down and then everything snap here, then with that you will be able to shake it off the sticker and then give more speed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to use a wrist a bit more and see how it goes. So even uh, during the trigger motion, let's give a little bit of wrist motion here. So then the club will go this way here. Okay. And then start the back swing. And then, so when you have a more wrist motion in the trigger, then you will have more wrist motion in the back swing and also more wrist motion on the way down. Okay. So mobilize your wrist. Currently, you are reaching out too much and the arm and the club are forming this uh, long single unit here, but keep an angle here, and then let's uh, utilize the mo mobility allowed in the wrist. Ah, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. 
Now again, because it's uh, done by your arms, that's why uh, you, you cannot find the right, uh, let me hold this. If this is coming from the body action, mm, let it go and then bring it back. Uh, it Instead of, it should be body action. Here. Throw, throw. And feel the, motion, the, the weight of the club head. When you, when you go uh, easy with the wrist, then you will be able to feel the, the weight of the club head. Mm -hmm. Again, now that's a good flow. And make sure you use the trigger well so that you have an active back swing. And with active back swing, good, wind up, and then down, down swing, let it go. And then also, so if you use the arms and wrists well toward the end of the swing, then swing and you have a nice finish here. But if you just let it go all the way, then this drops quite a bit. So the finished position actually reflects what you do in the downstream. But let it go in the nice deceleration here. Okay. So what matters is the motion of the clip head, not your excessive body motion. So always feel the motion of the club head. Always feel the motion of the club head here. So you can certainly swing using the whole arm in the swing like this. The motion looks big. However, the speed of the club is not that much. But. The body motion is not that big. But the sound is really higher because the club head speed is high. Because you are activating the wrist. So you have to have uh, you have to utilize everything you have, including the wrist range of motion. But initially, when you hold the club like this, then more than more likely you will kill the wrist mobility. So from here, let it go. Shake, shake the stick off. Stage three. So now, both ways, swing hard, even the trigger more actively, active back swing, and then let it go. See how it goes. That the trigger motion will be too much. So at the top, you are going this here, and then you are pulling the arms down. So the trigger motion does not have to be that big, as long as you use the body whether you go about this much and then use the body. The key is using the trail leg. <clears throat> the, this back swing is done by the trail leg action. Okay. Okay. So this is using your arm action and try to go. But if you use the body, <clears throat> the key is the trail leg action. So with the trigger motion, you should be able to engage your trail leg well. So that has to be done toward the end of the trigger motion. So here, first the throw, uh, first the throw. Throw in the lean backward. Always both ways, always we are pushing out and out, right? So throw and then shift. Throw and shift. Yes. So that was good. So uh, if you start the back swing like that using the trail leg, then in the regular swing you can also do that. Mm-hmm. 
then uh, you, can, you can use the legs more and more, the arms less and less. Mm-hmm. Again. Uh, and then when you start the trigger motion, you, your body shouldn't be uh, too uh, quiet here. So in order to go really well, you should have your body rhythm here. So that, mm, this way, instead of completely stay here and then try to start. Yeah. Your body has to have internal rhythm here. Mm, 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 mm. So the, the stability in the setup position is not important. What's really important is how you break out of it to actively start the back swing, right? So you have to have an internal rhythm, a subtle body motion so that the back swing motion becomes easier. That's why we are practicing this trigger motion. With the trigger, you have to move the body Ah, so the, currently the trigger is, the, the hands are going too high. Let's keep it flatter. The trigger motion, keep it flatter here. Yeah. And then with the trigger, you're already leaning backward. It's not like that. First, the throw this way. No, throw this way. So stand on the right side first, and then go back here. Okay. Instead of directly going back like this. So it's not this motion here, but rather mm, mm, okay. go out and then recenter. This time you use the arms uh, quite a bit. So use the shoulder turn, body turn. Yes. Uh, but although a bit rushed, here, so give enough time at the top. So here, the, the body motion can be fairly um, easy here. It's not something really difficult. And particularly when you are standing like this, this is hard. But if you are in this position here, relax the wrist and then you will be able to feel the motion here. So from here, mm, 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 mm. Feel the rhythm. Push, push. So push, push, push. Okay. Uh, Vijay Singh. So from now on, swing, swing it a few times and then build the internal rhythm. Uh, uh, Vijay Singh. Vijay is uh, exaggerated. Cycle by cycle, so uh, set by set. And then the trigger motion is too big. So instead of using the arms, big arm motion, body turn, shoulder turn. Mm -hmm. And the one thing you have to be careful is that as you start the, the back swing, if the wrist goes like this, that means you are starting too early because the club still goes this way and you are starting this way. So you have to wait until this is completed and then the key is the club head motion. So the key is moving the club head back and forth no matter what, right? Instead of doing motion like this, the club head motion is the key. You have to time the motion so that you can really promote good club head motion. So at the end of the trigger, mm, you give enough time so that you don't go like this. Okay. So, mm, and then throw the club head around your body. In the backswing motion, throw the club head around your body. That's a good image. Yep. 
So even, even in the you know, club swing, you're basically throwing the club head around your body. That's why you have to pay attention to the end of the device. Yes, that trick was better because you now uh, pay attention to the motion of the clip head. Mm -hmm. So always, uh, even in the downswing, so the transition from backswing to downswing, if you go too early, then you'll have a lot of bending of the whip, right? Yes. This is a bit uh, more uh, rigid, so uh, it doesn't show that much bending, but still, what we can see is your wrist motion. So you're going here and they already try to go this, this way. Then the, uh, the club motion, your body motion are not well matched. Okay. So you have to, if you, the goal is to move the club head around your body, then mm, mm, and then wait until this is done and then try to throw. Okay? So pay attention to the club head motion, shake off the sticker by moving the club head fast. Yes, that's better timing. So it's not about uh, moving your body quickly, but rather ultimately it's the clip head motion. Mm -hmm. That's better organized, yeah. Yes. So always, uh, you know, it's really important to have the right image because the image will dictate uh, how, you, how your body moves, yeah. right? So let me record stage three. Okay, ready, stage three, go. Mm. One more. Okay, ready, stage three, go. Yeah, now the motion is a lot simpler because you now feel the motion of the clip head. And you see how much you go in the back swing. Mm -hmm. That's really good uh, size here. And then. And then uh, also, toward the end of the downswing, try to throw the hands and club more actively. Okay. Yeah. So, mm, mm, and then throw the hands and club. Your, you know, your body going this much is not important. At the end, throw the hands and club toward the target. That way you can uh, shake off the sticker. So really, there you have the speed when you try to throw it. So again, your goal is to deliver the club head uh, to where the ball is, but using good trigger and then wind up and then let it go. So again, let's take a look at stage three. Yeah, the backswing size is really good. And then the rhythm is a lot better now. Okay, so uh, you don't you're not rushing. Yeah, it's fairly upper upper body driven. You can see that the arms. Now, yeah, the body is more engaged. Mm -hmm. But the question is how you can engage the, the lower body in the regular swing. So, now let's, uh, so I'll put the ball here. 
not on the T. So let's imagine that there is a ball on the T. So you will use a state three as your pressure routine. And then you have a normal swing, uh, pretending that, that the ball is on the T. Okay. Okay? So state three first, and then your normal swing. And then approach to uh, the T, uh, your normal swing. But you have to use a similar body motion in the back swing. Shift first and then turn. Again, stage three and your regular. So the, the whole idea of uh, using the trigger motion is to make the motion a bit easier. But as you repeat the stage three or stage two, your body will learn how to move. Then even without the trigger motion, you should be able to move the body similarly. Okay. So in order to start the backswing actively, shift first and then lowering this side and then push, stand up and then let it go. So stage three and the regular. How do you feel? Uh, is it uh, more comfortable? Yeah, a lot more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Then let's uh, put the ball now on the T. The same thing. Use stage three as you push up. You go back slightly so that you don't hit the ball when you do the stage three. Or uh, let me uh, move the mat uh, this way a little bit so that uh, you can stand on the, on the mat. Yeah. So stage three first and then approach it to the ball. Mm -hmm. And approach to the ball. Have active back swing. If you have too much time between stage three and uh, regular, then you you lose the the rhythm. So the time gap should be reasonable. So you can carry, carry over the, the rhythm. Again, stage three and regular. Hmm. You almost hit yourself. <laughs> Again. So as you repeat this, uh, you will be able to find uh, you know, good control. So for a while, you have to practice this uh, stage three a lot, or even stage two, to uh, work on the rhythm. Okay. Stage three and regular. Good. But this time, let's do this. Um, between the state three and the regular, let's, let's do this. So uh, you have a state three swing, and then it's a wiggle, but it's a bigger one. Mm. Mm. Emphasize the leg action. Mm. Kick the ground, kick the ground, and then. Mm. So practice. Practice the wiggle. Uh, this way, this way, this way. Oh. Yeah. You, you don't have to go all the way. So just uh, because you want to practice the initial part of the back swing, mm, and then come back, mm, and then come back. So the club can go about this high. So you have to activate the left leg in the back swing, right? 
Yeah. So stage three, and then two waggles, and then regular swing. Mm -hmm. This was the best impact. So you have to develop good strategy. Uh, stage, stage three is always uh, you're quite natural. So um, when you do stage three, then you'll develop good rhythm in the dynamics. Then when you do the normal swing, then generally uh, you slow down the back swing and not using the <laughs> legs as much. That happens. So between the stage three and the regular swing, you have to have something. Could it be a smaller version of uh, stage three? Or as I just uh, showed you, a uh, waggle. Okay. Mm. It's not about this motion, but rather mm, leg action. Mm, here. And then mm, hit the ball. Okay. So you have to come up with a strategy to uh, you know, uh, connect the uh, stage three and the regular swing well. Okay. Okay, let me record. So stage three, and then the waggles and the regular swing. Okay, ready. Stage three, waggles and the regular. Go. Rushed. This time rushed a little bit. Because uh, in the back swing, you're not standing on the right side, uh, left side enough. Okay. So then, uh, you know, you, you tend to rush. So in the waggle motion, lower the body and then up. Lower body and the up. So that you can activate the trail, trail leg, okay? So again, Ready, stage three, waggles and regular, go. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, Practice this a lot, okay? The, the flow of uh, stage three is really good. The knee is uh, going uh, straight too, too quickly. Okay. You don't really lower the body and then go. So again. Yeah, just the leg goes straight here, uh -huh. but instead of uh, going down and up. You see, this goes straight. So you need to uh, lower the, the trail side and then push. But uh, your stage three is, uh, flow is good, but still you need to activate the trail leg more. Instead of just standing, you have to go down and up. So go down and you should have an intentional push in the back swing. Instead of, instead of just straightening here. <clears throat> or if you're right-handed, and have good wind up here. Okay, okay one more. So the, the goal in the, in the back swing, in the regular swing is by lowering this and then push the mm, all the way here. Wait and then let it go. So go up and then slide shift. This all has to be done during the back swing. Okay. Okay. If you fail to uh, recenter, 
early enough, then you have to use your arms. Again, stage three, waggles and uh, regular. So the impact is uh, quite consistent. And all you need to do is just uh, work on the rhythm okay. more and more. And uh, so uh, this is a whole new world. Okay? You completely change your pattern. Instead of just push and push. Um, I will post the video to YouTube so you can watch this. And watch this again and again. So how, uh, see how your motion has uh, progressed. And initially, how you, you move your body, and then once you start pushing and then reaching out at the same time, then uh, you will see the change in the body motion. Okay. And the rope swing also has uh, uh, evolved quite a bit. So um, if you work, keep working on the rhythm, then uh, you, know, you will be able to develop a really good uh, swing pattern now. Then later, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay? What does the iron sway do? Is it similar? Similar. The overall, the idea is similar. Although in the iron swing, you have a bit smaller back swing. Smaller back swing. Mm. But still, you have enough time here. Let it go, instead of rushing. And you can also still use the wrist reasonably. Okay. okay. And um, one, one thing uh, you, you have to avoid is just going this way. Shift and then stand on the right side. So that the leg is fairly well straightened there. And then recenter and then let it go. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you.